guys a uh, good uh, uh, afternoon once again i'll be continuing with uh, uh, the episode five of this uh, uh, video note that i uh, will do pre-recording that means we record about three episodes down so that we can conveniently give you the height of information and the lecture you need uh, in uh, understanding catfish uh, farming as a whole so from this point i will be starting up with what we call the episode five of these uh, great lectures note that these lectures just come to you now on a regular basis at least three times in a week so you'll be enjoying this uh, lecture three times in a week and this lecture do tell you from here to z on fish farming and i told you earlier we are starting in here with uh, what we call food formulation and concentration and after then we'll be doubling into more and more we'll be going in depth into more and more of uh, uh, fish farming we'll be talking about archery for those of you who want to go into archery we'll be talking about processing and co and co so but from this point we are starting from what we call uh, fish uh, feed formulation and concentration and before because we know this take well over 80 percent of our daily expensive so we are making this very very important so that's why we are starting with this uh, uh, topic for today so once again my name is Tiremen Odutola Isa Abiodo DTM your great uncle on this channel so if you have not subscribed to this uh, page make sure that you do that now if you have not liked share make sure that you like and share press on what we call the notification button the notification button is to tell you when we release new videos on this channel so you can be the first among the first towards this uh, great channel uh this channel this topic on channel here on catfish uh, solution academy and for those of you on our old social media that means facebook and the like make sure that you follow us like and share and if you have any comment make sure that you comment and you call the number on the screen so we give solutions to you wherever you are in the world and um, note once again i'll be talking i talked about this is the fifth uh, episode of this uh, great uh, lecture on fish farming and uh, i will be continuing in with what we call the how to achieve huge success in fish farming yeah it is this is you know this is important we are all here for profit and uh, uh, it's how to achieve success we are all here for so i think this will be important to uh, as a listening uh, uh, topic for every one of us now yeah so how to achieve huge success in fish farming i'm talking about my how do i do my how do i achieve that success i i i i've been having in fish farming how this success can as well help you guys to to achieve that greater height that you need in fish farming so once again i'll be starting from my point one which i call the creativity in every business not even fish farming in every business that you want to do you need to be creative yeah creativity means creativity means exploring exploring other factors so that other factors so that you can be distinguished amongst your peers yeah for example if you you go to a farm and you saw them that they are using wooden vat for their uh, for their vats this is an example using wooden vat for their hatchet as an incubator or a nursery pond and inside the wooden vat you saw that the lining that you saw there is the carpet yeah is the creativity mind that you need to have that carpet will not be durable what i mean by durable the lifespan of carpet will not stay for one year so it's a creative creativity idea for you to say okay no let me go for tarpaulin so you go for tarpaulin so that this can be more durable than carpet so that's what i mean by an example of what we call creativity 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 is when you go for a training and you see your mentor uh, by set bluestock and by set it to a certain level creativity is for you to know that if you buy or set it to the popular this can give you a great avenue in order for you to extract out the mint from the stock that will not give any you any stress is creativity creativity is for you to know that these fishes that i'm about to inject is not that gravity enough 
that if I should give these fishes uh, a little time more, this will give me more result for my production. That is what we call creativity. And again, let me go to proactiveness. Proactiveness is your zeal to the business. Your zeal to the business is very, very key and important. So you have to have a personal zeal, uh, zeal to what you are doing. So from that, I'll be going to my number three on how to encourage your success in cartridge farming. So I'll be talking about the number three is, um, and this is what we call courage. You must be courageous. It must be courageous to tackle any activity. That means if you have any huge challenge in your farm, it's for you to be courageous enough now to buckle up to make sure that this uh, challenges is being solved by you alone. Yeah, it's being solved by you alone. It is important to tackle, to find solution to a problem that you crying it loud to people to help you. And forgetting to know that by the time you are crying it loud to for people to help you, this is where you started get getting a lot of false information. And as we know, false information will ruin your business. It will never help you. So for you not to have false information in your business, you need to be courageous enough to tackle most of your challenges. You need to be courageous enough to do the business yourself. I normally tell people that if you really want to be successful in catfish farming, you must do it yourself at least 80%. If it is not 80%, 40%. So if you are if you know 80%, 70%, please don't leave all your all your activities of the farm to your farm manager or your worker in the farm. So make sure that you have passion for it. It's from the drive that you have as a leader that all those people that are working for you will follow. If they come to your farm and they notice that you are a novice, this my managers, our guy does not know anything. The boss does not even know anything about fish farming. I tell you the truth, they will start working on that and they will start dribbling you on that. They will start frauding you on that. On fish farming, I've lo I have a lot of experience on management uh, skill. I have a lot of experience on how to tackle staffs. I can tell you now that most of the people that are killing the uh, the prospect of your farm those are the people that you trusted if you bring your family even your blood brother into the business and you trust them so much and and you don't know anything about the business i told you they will run your business down and again the number four is what we call dedication you must be dedicated to your business you must be dedicated to your business so dedication go par with the last uh, factors i talked about so you must be dedicated to your business and let me go to the number five number five is what we call ask questions make sure that you ask questions don't just ask questions from people that does not really know about the business ask questions from professionals ask questions from have a mentor ask questions from people that can guide you right and be ready be ready to learn and share it is important for you to be ready to learn don't just stick on an activity lot of people stuck on an activity and that is where they are having problems you will be stuck when you just stick on an activity there are a lot of things going on there a lot of people are exploring a lot of people are making things easier like the china are making it easier like before i don't think we can talk like this we can be in the system of the room we can have what we call our ring light to talk to you guys like this these are making development these are innovatives so people are being created there are a lot of creative things that we are doing now unlike before that we span there's a kakaban we used before it's not the same kakaban we use now the kakaban we use now is very easy and flexible to use so you must be ready to learn and even share to as well and again i'll be going into the number seven which i talk accept challenges this is a era for you to accept challenges so me if as a fish farmer i go out in to seminars i go out to trainings i go out to workshops i go out to meetings and if you eventually meet me in any kind of social gathering in any kind of meeting i bet you i will never talk about fish farming 
I will never talk about fish farming. There are a lot of trainings I go to. The trainings I go to when the teacher are teaching, most of when what is teaching, I know and I know surpassed him. And I will never, to me, I will never argue with him. I will only have ask Libra questions so that the teacher can think, the teacher will know that is in the serene of an encouraging uh, student. So I go to a lot of trainings too. I sit down, I paid money, I paid my due to go for trainings to, to learn. So that means what I say, you must accept challenges. If you go anywhere, you portray yourself well. If you have any challenges in your farm, accept it, that is the challenges, and it will go. I told you the problem, there's no problem without solution. If you put it in your mind that there's no problem without solution, you will have you you will be you will have huge success in fish farming. And lastly, for the, our topic for today, I'll be talking about be ready to spend or to get quality knowledge. I told you earlier how much I've spent so far, even on research. For me to come up here and give you a lot, lot of information, a lot, lot of theoretical um, knowledge here, yeah, I do a lot of researches. For me to uh, maybe dabbling into a parameter that I can use to correct social thing on your water, as, to me, I've spent a lot of money on it before I come out. That means I've done a lot of research, I've done a lot of things, I've paid my dues, I've borne money on data, I've uh, paid money to go to seminars, to learn more because let me tell you the truth you cannot know it all uh, a small boy of five years out there can come out with uh, with an idea and you thought wow this idea is very very good is an opportunity for you to work on that idea to create creativity and innovation so somebody can produce that idea for you but as a creative mind person is for you to work on it takes that idea as a bigger venture for you to generate world for yourself and to me, to become successful in fish farming, you I normally tell you this, you must have a mentor, and uh, you want to have a, what we call a skill mentor. You need to be open, open your brain and creative to challenges. It's important. Card business is not a retail uh, business, yeah, that you buy and sell product. For example, if you buy a shoe for five, 500 naira, yeah, and you sell for 800 naira easily. You just made a profit of 300 naira as a trade. Cartridge business need knowledge, technicalities, and principle that can get this to just and harvest. So it is what is it not what you sell on a daily basis. It is what you can achieve. Uh, you can achieve on through during your harvest. So you need to work through this harvest to make it more real and more bigger for you as a catfish uh, uh, farmer. So from this point again, I will urge you guys to stay tuned and watch our episode.